Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. I don't know about you, but when it's hot outside, many times I don't feel like cooking. What? <laughs> yes, it happens. Just a simple, quick meal can do the trick during those heat waves. There's a recipe that I really like because it can be prepped and ready in 15 minutes. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my Monte Cristo sandwich. My version of this classic is so tasty. I don't think sandwiches should be underrated because this one is so flavorful. This is my go-to recipe when I want yummy, quick and easy without too much effort. So my friends, let's get cooking. First, we'll make a spread for the sandwiches. So in a small bowl, we'll combine mayonnaise. Now I have a great, easy, homemade mayonnaise recipe. So to see it, click on the top right corner of your screen. Then we'll also add Dijon mustard. We'll give a good stir to blend the ingredients together. Next, in a shallow dish, we'll combine eggs with half and half and beat with a fork until evenly mixed. Now, this is totally optional, but highly recommended. We'll add a paprika, then stir and set aside while we start making the sandwiches. So, what we'll do is to apply a thin layer of the spread on each bread slice. Then we'll place a slice of cheese on three of them, followed by two slices of ham, and then two slices of turkey. Now to finish, we'll add a slice of cheese on each. We'll place the other slices of bread on top, spread side facing down, and we'll move to the stove. Here I'll be using a panini pan, but feel free to use a skillet. So on medium heat, we'll add clarified butter. Because of its smoke point, the sandwiches won't burn when cooking. Now it seems like a lot of butter, but it needs a lot to have that beautiful texture on the outside. When the butter is hot, we'll dip both sides of each sandwich in the egg mixture. You cannot let it sit in the mixture, otherwise the bread will get soggy. Therefore, we'll dip them fast, a couple seconds max, and quickly transfer them to the hot pan. We'll cook three to four minutes per side. See, this is what we're looking for, a nice golden brown color. Now, if you're using a panini pan, after they flipped, we'll add the press and push down on them. Otherwise, if you're not using this, take a spatula or use something heavy enough to flatten them down a little. When they're done, remove, cut, and serve. And my friends, this is our Monte Cristo sandwich. Cheesy, buttery, crunchy, and satisfying, this sandwich makes a delicious meal. I know it's just a sandwich, but it's quite filling. So next time you're not sure what to make quickly, Put this classic on the menu. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time my friends, bon appétit!